What was it that made Don Bosco attractive to young people, particularly young people who had been hurt and let down by society? What made him different from other priests and other people? John Bosco loved the young, and he told them, that you are young is enough to make me love you very much. Don Bosco's own background gave him an immediate empathy for the world of neglected youth. He was born into a poor family. His father was a small farmer who had to work for other farmers to supplement his income. John's father died when he was two years old. A year later, there was a famine in their locality and his family lost all their cattle. He had an older stepbrother, Anthony, and John's mother thought it best that they be separated when John was 12 years old. She sent John away uh, to find work. At 12, John was homeless. He had a dream to be educated and become a priest, but had no education and no finances to help him achieve his goal. He did not attend a primary school until he was 15, and by the time he got to secondary school, he was much older than the others in his class. He was bullied because of his age and background. While in secondary school, and later in the seminary, he did not have enough to eat. He had to beg, and his mother made great sacrifices to support him. John Bosco often felt lonely, isolated, and wondered if he was following the right path. He longed for somebody to trust and confide in. He found the priests he met cold and distant, and wished they were more approachable. He said that if he became a priest, he would listen, talk, and accompany people, especially the young. We see that John Bosco had much in common with poor and abandoned youth. John's mother, Mama Margaret, was a woman of extraordinary faith and determination. When her husband died, she kept the family together. She was always John's anchor, supporting, listening and encouraging him. She taught him that to be a follower of Jesus Christ, one took up one's cross and made sacrifices for others. John told the story about his mother's care for the destitute. There was a man living homeless in their area, and every night she set aside food for him on a plate, even though she was very poor herself. It was always gone in the morning. From his own mother, John had learned the practice of caring for the poor and abandoned. Lord, we pray for the blessing to be able to care for the needy we meet in life. It may be food they need, or maybe just our time, or simply someone to listen for a few moments. Help us to know how to be attentive and sensitive to those with needs. Mary, help of Christians, pray for us.